One of the great ironies of American history is there are almost as many novelists today coming out of prison as out of our universities. One of the uh, most dynamic and marketable forms of literature is street literature, which in the last 15 years has kind of taken over uh, the African-American literature sections of bookstores. And the vast majority of those are books written by people who were either in or just recently came out of jail. What does it say about our country that one of the most dynamic literary genres is produced by people in prison? It says that there's something wrong when that happens. The United States in the last 30 years has become a society where there are more people incarcerated in the United States than in all of continental Europe put together. Uh, where young people in, our, uh, in a lot of our communities face constant harassment, not just in the streets, in the schools, wherever they go. And Mumia Abu Jamal is like a symbol of, uh, of how this society has put some of its most talented and gifted people behind bars. And we lose incredibly by doing that. Um, the amount of energy and talent that is in our prisons is, uh, is, is really a national tragedy. So. <laughs> Hip-hop is literature. It's going down. Hip-hop is literature.